May the Lord open to her the gates of paradise, that she may return to that homeland where there is no death, where eternal joy endures. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us not call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you are the glory of those who serve you. Look lovingly on our departed sister, Mary Marcel of the Holy Family of Sambuanga Carmel. The waters of baptism in the bands of Carmel unite us with her in following Christ and his mother. In your mercy, grant her everlasting sight of you, her creator and redeemer. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of the perseverance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will, always, he will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds gathered around him, and as was his custom, he again taught them. The Pharisees approached and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. For they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, good morning to all of you. Good morning, Father. The gospel is very interesting. And today we are also marking the, the, the Edsa Revolution. So I don't know if I will be able to make connections. But let us take this uh, gospel. Divorce. Well, the only country, well, shall we say, countries, although the other one is not really functioning as such, pero sige lang, let's see. The Philippines and the Vatican City has no divorce, no? The rest of the world have their own forms of divorce, and there are various forms of divorce, actually. And I don't want to enumerate all those here. Pero in one way or the other, kita na na bilin. Well, technically, the Vatican will stand, uh, I don't know if it will stand uh, forever against divorce, pero technically, theologically, as of the moment, it does. Now, here in the Philippines, kita na na bilin. How long will it stand? I do not know. Well, there are many ways to, man to, and there are many attempts to pass a bill on absolute divorce. Unfortunately, the family code and the constitution are the ones that are standing against it. Thanks to the to the 1987 no? to the 1987 constitution, which was brought about by the EDSA revolution. Were it not for the constitution and the family code, I think, with the likes of Conteberos in Senate and Lagman in the Congress before, absolute divorce would have been already implemented in the Philippines. Because with these people who are so liberals, in this, not, not the party, huh? but in their orientation, progressive leftist liberals, they don't really see the family as Jesus taught us to see the family. For them, the family is just a social construct. Of course it is, but for us it's more than just that. The family is a divine, divinely institution, uh, divinely institu instituted um, institution shall we say, 
Nagkuan ako na redundant na is a divinely instituted part of our community. It's God who formed the family. It's not just a social construct. Kung sinabi yung social construct, it's just something that society has created. Pero no, it's not. It is a divinely instituted uh, part of our life. It's God who, may, who united man and woman at the very start when He gave Eve to Adam and uh, Adam to Eve and then He said, go and multiply. Nga, pamilya, para sa mga liberal nga ini. Again, I'm not talking of the party. It's not sacred. Because for them, the, the individual is the most important. Sa pamilya, yung individual na yan, madula na yan. Kung ikaw nga nanay o tatay, ang napaminsan mong imo yung kaugalingon, yung individuality, you'll never become a good parent or a good husband or wife. I think I don't need to lecture you on that. You know that. Many of you here are married couples or been married. You know that. There's a lot of sacrifice that has to be endured in order that the family will go on. It's not easy. I know that, and you know that. Pero para sa mga nagaduso sining divorce ini, it's not, the family is not that important. The individual is the most important. And that is the reason for me that baffles me. Kung tanawa mo si Jesus here, Jesus was harsh here. O harsh, kung tanawa mo from the, from the reference of Subong. Kung si Jesus, yung parte ka stricto mo, wala na. Whoever divorces his wife or marries another and vice versa, commits adultery. No, no, Juan. No more excuses. Si Moses gani yan. Even give in to the individual. That's why he allowed it. Pero si Jesus, hmm, why na? Daw niya tamo rason. Tiyan mo na mga utod, no? Kung tanawon mo, kabudlay, ini, kabudlay, magitakon. As of now, ano ang ginatudyo sa simbahan? Well, of course, there are already attempts to change it, especially with the, uh, uh, what was that, uh, in the, recently with Pope Francis? Forgot. Anyway, there are attempts to, to change the teachings, no? Pero, fortunately, fortunately, the teaching on divorce still stands, no? But how, again, how long will it remain as such? Will our theology give in to the world? Don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Pero, as of the moment, there are so many attempts to destroy our teachings, our teachings that are based on tradition. A very good example of this is the German Synod. You know we have the synodality, correct? All over the world we are having consultations. But Germany has already started its own synodality even before Pope Francis called for it. And what are they, to, what are they doing there in Germany? Well, they, we, they have, we have there the, the progressive theologians. And what are they doing? Ah, they are promoting women priesthood. Ang mga gusto, magpalari, din nga mga babae. 
maybe your hope can parang hindi kasi John Paul said no. Pero with the German Synod, nati matamat naman na balik. Ano pa kaya? Same sex blessing of 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 couples. Oh, ano kaya doon sa Germany? Di mga mga tilod na yun, mga sila mga tilod dyan, sila mga maalam ay na. Pero nga ay di klaro. Sa ginatudlo, sa ginoo, dali sa gospel. So, kung tanawan mo yun yan, ang guwa nila, doon nag-aasang ayon pa sila kay Moses, yun sa kay Jesus. Tinan mo na yan, makagin at the very start of my homily, How long will it st- how long will it stand? How long will this teaching stand? We don't know. Which brings me now to the second part. I hope you I hope you're not in a, in a rush, no? In the way holiday man. We cele- we are celebrating Edsa. I remember two things only because I was very young at the time. I was only about six years old. Ah, no, 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 not six pala, not six. I was ten years old. A uh, nine, nine to be precise. Uh, nine years old. Teka, 1986. Oh, correct. Nine years old ako. There are only two things that I remembered about this. Nipaniniya kami sa dalan. Kaya nag-wave kami isang flag na yellow. At yung mga bata mo na kami, so gumawa kami sa mga teacher na maniniya. Nininiya mo kami naglabay si Doy Laurel. Okay. That was the snap election campaign. And the second thing that I remember was to, sa gabi na gabi na, tisa ko na ito yung prano, patulog ng tao, no? Gabi na ito, nagbagting ang lingganay sa simbahan. Eh, mali, kung ano ito. And only to know that it was the time, that, that was the time that Marcos fled the country going to Hawaii, no? So... What, last time, I was looking at the... I was watching, I mean, the debate that was sponsored by SMNI. Not, not the entire thing, but only the clip. And there was this uh, professor by the, name, by, uh, by the name of Clarita Carlos, something. And then, you know, naman the algorithm of YouTube. Once you watch a mo- watch one, once you watch a video, it will uh, endorse another video, no? So in that video, Clarita Ra- Carlos said, I, don't, "I hope I got her name right." She said that the 19, the 1986 is not a revolution, but merely an event. Amang yeah, yung pagtanaw. Event pa nato yan. Sa totoo, nag-init ang ulo ko. Nag-init ang ulo ko. Kaya nga, how? Ang iya nga basihan, di wala man doon sa may nagkalamatay. Ang revolusyon niya dapat na mapatay. Just like what happened in Russia by Lenin. Just like what happened in China by Mao Chitong. Those who are in power has to be to be, to be uh, executed. Asa sa pangin, sir, ko? At yan, po si Lingon, sinin isang pro-Marcos na ini nga profesora nga ini. Nga dapat may patsyon di kita para tawag ko ng isa kabagay ng revolusyon. Tanig yung patay ito lang doon si Marcos kasi ang, ang pamilya niya. Amo nang gusto sinin profesor nga ini. Doon mo nang yaya eh. Ito ko na. Because she was an uh, eminent professor. Tigulang na siya. Dasan, may damo man siya hiniburahan. Pero mo nangyayay ang ambal. O, sa naisindihan ko lang, no? given my own uh, feeble intellectual capacity. Dama na yung pangisindi ko. At ano so, following the logic, a revolution happens only by executing those who are in power. That's why para sa iya, it was not a revolution, it was just merely an event. Nag-init ang ulo ko. 
Although nga, I was very young during the EDSA revolution, as I said, pero it changed the country. Di ba lang? I think many of you will agree with me and some of you may disagree. Okay lang. It changed us in some ways. Not really entirely, pero there was a change. And to change does not necessarily mean that it's going to be bloody. Kaya alam, may mga tanak niya nga dugo, galiaya, para itaw ko ng isa kabagay, nga revolusyon. That's why for the world at that time was so happy, no? and the Philippines was so proud because we have this bloodless revolution. They considered the 1986 as the bloodless revolution. It was the first time in history. Pero sa buong ay no longer. Kuha na lang siya. Event na lang. You see how things are being changed. Now, I am not pro-Marcos. I am not anti-Marcos. Basta-basta ko si Father, pro-Amoni. I would like to keep my mouth shut on this matter. Pero, you see ha, I think revolutions does not necessarily mean that it's going to be a bloodshed. Pero dapat unahong tagin iniho, bago ang utok ta. Kag mag-agda kita, nga baguhon man, ang paminsaron sa ato nga mga kauturan, sa ang kadamaan, nga makitaan, to be fair and to be objective. Not merely by personal preference, or by, because friend nato ng mga amusin, amus na, or may kwaong kita sa amus, but to be fair and objective about it. If there is something good with this person, then praise it. And if there is something that is bad, then try to correct or criticize it. That is the work of the prophet. And we should owe the Filipinos to be a prophetic church in the Philippines. Di pero paano kita mangin propeta? Kung kita mismo gani, kadulman, kaya nga ah. But we are not objective. Again, it goes back to individual. The world now has made its criteria in terms of the individual. To be fair, Marcos also may ginimuan mo siya. Nga maayo. Si, si, si Cory, may ginimuan mo siya nga maayo, pero may ginimuan mo siya nga kapalpakan. And to be honest, no, personally, I find the presidency of Pinoy a, a, a tragedy. Si Pinoy, the, the previous, pre may he rest in peace. For me, I really don't like him. To the bones. I don't like him. No, I don't like him. Because he was the president who is so liberal, a puppet of Obama, and he passed by his presidential fiat. The Irish law. So you, don't, you, can't, you can't call me Dilawan. No? You, you can't. So my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, second part naman na, tapos ng gospel. Today, we celebrate one of the crowning moments of our Philippine history, the Edsa Revolution. Let us not throw it into the gutters. Amen. Let us now offer our prayers to the Lord as we say, God of love, protect marriage and family life. God of love, protect marriage and family life. That married, married couples see that the sacrament of marriage is not a social convention or merely an outward sign of commitment, but a gift for the the sanctification and salvation of the spouses, we pray. God of love, protect marriage and family life. That the people of God may see the indissolubility of marriage as affirmed by the church, not as a yoke imposed on humanity, 
but as a gift granted to those joined in marriage. We pray. God of love, protect marriage and family life. That when faced with difficult situations and wounded families, the pastors of the church may exercise pastoral mercy and careful discernment of complex situations. We pray. God of law, protect marriage and family life. That couples may overcome crisis and hardships in marriage and family life without fleeing from challenges or concealing problems. We pray. God of law, protect marriage and family life. That the Lord may replace the hardness of our hearts with love that is patient, kind, not jealous, and bears all things. We pray. God of love, protect marriage and family life. Heavenly Father, make us mindful of the sacredness and inviolability of marriage and its beauty in your plan. May families turn to the Holy Family of Nazareth for soccer and as a model of communion and prayer. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, be merciful to your servant, Sister Mary Marcel of the Holy Family, for whom we offer the sacrifice of peace. She was faithful to you in this life. Reward her with life forever in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He chose to die that we might free all men from dying. He gave his life that we might live to you alone forever. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, their people, that they, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it, his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Sebastian, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, and Pedro Calumso, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, says the Lord, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Let us pray. Lord, hear the prayers of those you renew with the food of life at your holy table. By the power of this sacrifice, may Sister Mary Marcel of the Holy Family be granted an everlasting home in your kingdom with the Blessed Virgin Mary, to whose service she pledged herself. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's not pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. 
Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Roch, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsol, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.